gaming here today. I've got another EFA 17 squad builder. Today we are doing my favourite ever 11 or like team of my favourite ever players. I guess you could say this is like a top 11 favourite players. So guys, these this isn't a semi-personal like squad or list. So if you don't agree with my choices or you, or your your favourite players aren't included in this video. That's because we, I don't have the same opinion as you, um, but you can leave your favourite ever players in the comment section below. So moving on in, into the team, starting off we've got Jimmy Raji Buffon. Uh, I'm going to go with his 90 team of the season cup and I think FIFA 11 I think that is. So I love Jimmy Raji Buffon just because of how consistently great he has been. Throughout his entire career, and I've loyal always been to Juventus. He is currently just—I think he's 38 or 39 years old now. Played for Juventus for about I think just over 10 years. It's just been absolutely amazing for them. Maybe uh, maybe a little bit longer than over 10 years. Maybe like the 20 years. He's just been absolutely incredible, so consistent every season. I remember one FIFA had like an 82 rated card, so which was just Really not good, but Buffon has just been so consistently amazing for Juventus that I just can leave him out of this. Our first Arsenal player is coming in at central centre back. It's going to be a very surprising one. It's Per Mertesacker. I just love Per Mertesacker so much. Like he gets a lot of hate just because of how slow he is and so that. By the way, this 84 card from FIFA 10 looks amazing, look at that. But, he gets a lot of hate and isn't really used much on FIFA. Um, due to the fact that he's got like 20, 28 pace, this FIFA event. But I just love the guy, he's such a good player. But he's been so good for us over the years. And recently in the FA Cup Final, for me, my man of the match. Um, after not playing a single game this whole season. And Mercer, like, it's just been a really little bit of a legend for us uh, in a couple of years that he's played for Arsenal. He's just been really, really good. I just love Per Mertesacker for that. Our left centre-back is going to be Thiago Silva. Now, I like Thiago Silva for many similar me similar reasons to why I like Ginger Ligi Buffon. We did have his team of the year card from 314, the 94 one. And I just, again, like Ginger Ligi Buffon. I just love how consistent Thiago Silva has been over the past, like, 10 years or so. Like, every single year he seems to either get a team of the year or a team of the season card on FIFA. And even at AC, even in his AC Milan days, it was absolutely incredible. And it was picked up by PSG for about 40, like 30, 35 million, I think, around that. And, again, even at... Every every single season, he seems to just play absolutely amazingly, and I just love Thiago Silva for that reason. Our final centre back is another current Arsenal centre back, and I missed those letters up. It is Long Koscielny, definitely my favourite centre back that we've currently got. I'm gonna go with his. I think I'm gonna go with his. Yeah, this FIFA 15 card, which is just absolutely amazing. Again, Koscielny is, for me, probably one of the most underrated players in the Premier League. I know he's not really that underrated, but he's just so good. He was, for me, he was unlucky to not get a team of the season. A team of the year. Not team of the year, team of the season. Because he, especially this season, he's been absolutely amazing. And um, I was so glad when I found out that we were going to miss him for the cup final. However, we did end up winning that anyway. And Koscielny has just been absolutely incredible. Still probably our best centre-back at the club we've got currently. And it's actually recently signed a new deal, which I'm so happy about. Moving on to a normal CDM. I think you guys expected this at one point in the team. It is obviously going to be Mesut Ozil. Let's go with his FIFA 12 or FIFA 11. Team of the season card for Real Madrid. That card looks amazing. And when he first signed for, Madrid, for Arsenal, I was so, so happy because I knew how good he was. 
And even though some people say he gets a lot of stick because one, some pe people say he's lazy, people say he hasn't really lived up to his expectations at Arsenal. I think he's just been really, really good for us. Especially last season where he got like 20 assists. He was absolutely incredible. And um, he's definitely, definitely one of the stars in our team and we have to keep this guy. Uh, along with one of the other players in this team. But, yeah, I just love Maz Ozil. Even when he's playing for Real Madrid, I just love the guy. I love him even more now he's playing for us. Our next player is a very kind of relevant player at the moment. It is Francesco Totti. What can I say about this guy? Like, this guy is recent hero card. As you guys must know by now, he is recently retired from football after spending his whole career at Roma. What a legend this guy is. If he doesn't get a legend card and maybe FIFA 18 or like FIFA 19, FIFA 20, FIFA 21, all the other FIFAs in the future, they'll be like a crime. Seriously, this guy, for me, is the best Italian player of all time. And the fact that he stayed with Roma and not bringing much trophies and he rejected clubs like Real Madrid, Barcelona, Manchester United. He rejected all these clubs just to stick at Roma. And even to this day, he's still quite good. Um, as, and Roma are going to be so... Roma just aren't going to be the same without Francesco Totti. When you think of Roma Football Club, you think of Francesco Totti. He's just an, an absolute god at Roma. And Roma fans are definitely, definitely going to miss him. I think he's got a, a big role at Roma in the future, like maybe manager, director of football, owner, who knows, but he's definitely going to play a part of Roma's success in the future. Right mid now is got to be Theo Walcott. Let's go with this purple card from FIFA, FIFA 12 or FIFA 11. I don't know what one it is. Uh, let's go with that because I had 98 pace. Theo Walcott love the people that maybe fall in love with football. Even though nowadays, again, not me, like much as it would just get a lot quite a, few, quite a bit of stick. He's still a very, very good player. Maybe not as good as he once was, maybe in like 2012, 2011. He's still really, really good. And especially um, this season, he's showing flashes of formal self. Formal self. Um, last season, he didn't play very well, but this season's back to his best. And he's playing really well. I do hope that he does stay. If we don't sign another white midfielder, because and having someone like Oxley Chamberlain as well is really, really good. Now, our, final, our next player at, at left midfield, this was always going to happen. I'm not going to put his team season striker card in. I'm going to put, let's, let's just put in his I'm having a match card in 2016. It's Alexi Sanchez, my favourite current player at the moment in whole of football at this current time. Who's playing at the moment? We'll, we'll go into my favorite ever football in a bit. But Alexis Sanchez, he is incredible. Like the stuff he can do with a football is absolutely amazing. Like I don't know just what to say about Alexis Sanchez. He's just such a technically gifted player, and I can't really say much more. Cam, I had to put either Messi or Ronaldo in here, and I've chose Lionel Messi. I'm gonna go with his um. FIFA 14 World Cup mode um, play, play card because this was the one. This is the first and only time which I've ever packed Messi. So I've got to put that card in. Even though it's quite easy to pack Messi and Ronaldo on, on the World Cup game, you know, it was still really special for me. And um, I just love Messi. For me, Messi is better as. Maybe not. I think at the moment, Ronaldo's better. But overall, I think Messi's just been better than Ronaldo. I mean, I don't really need to explain why I like Messi. Just. Let's just move on to our first, our strikers. Now, the first player, this is going to be, this is like a love-hate relationship. It's going to be Warren Van Persie. Now, I've talked about, in and out of videos, how much I hate this guy. Just because, and all Arsenal fans do hate him. Just in the manner how he left us. But I can't deny, before he left us, he was he's definitely a player which made me fall in love with football along with the next player. He for he's definitely despite what he's done for us in the, in the manner of how he left us, Warren Van Persie will always be a legend at Arsenal. 
he scored so many goals and even in that se even in that transfer window where he left, it was expecting that he was gonna leave because the season he had before that transfer window was absolutely incredible. But he scored like thirty two goals or something crazy like that in that season. Um he he's definitely in the top ten best strikers ever for Arsenal. It was just a shame in the manner how he left us. Maybe if if he just moved on to maybe another club, maybe like Juventus, and not done it in the manner that he did, then he would still be respected by Arsenal fans. But you know, I still really hate him. But deep down, I still really, really love the guy. And I just had to put one of my person in this team. And finally, the final player, our other striker, definitely my favourite footballer of all time. If you know me, you definitely, definitely saw this one coming. It is definitely... Dennis Burkamp, if I can find him. There he is, Dennis Burkamp. We're going to go with his FIFA 15 legend card, just because I really like that one. I just really like the design of it. And Dennis Burkamp, what can, I, what can I say? He's just so amazing. Like, I don't get it. Like, he's just so incredible. For me, I still think Thierry when he's better has was better than Burkham. Thierry when he scored the goal, Burkham assisted the goal. He can he could assist, he can score. His his first touch was amazing. The sum of the goals he scored, like the one against Newcastle, the one for uh, ne the Netherlands against Argentina, his first touch was absolutely amazing. And I still don't know why he's still only got four star skills in FIFA. In FIFA 18, they really should make him five star skills. But yeah, guys, Dennis Burkamp, my definitely my favorite footballer ever. Now I'm gonna do a couple of honourable mentions here. Got first one, got to be Sol Campbell from obviously former Arsenal player and Spurs player. Uh, so Sol Campbell is our first honourable mention. Our second one, similar to Van Persie, um, you gotta go with Cesc Fabregas. Let's go with his FIFA 10 Arsenal card there. Um, just because similar to Van Persie, kind of like a love hate relationship, but for me, just about missed his team. And finally, we've got to go with Thierry Henry. Obviously, for me, best Arsenal player ever, just behind, of course, James Burkamp. I'm pretty sure he hasn't had an Arsenal card on FIFA before, but we'll just go with this team of season card from FIFA 13. So, guys, this is my favourite footballers ever 11. Hope you enjoyed the video along with these three horrible mentions, obviously. It's all Campbell, says Frank Cousins here, and we. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and also subscribe to the Google Gaming YouTube channel for more videos like this. And peace out, guys.